bring the action. Everybody in the club, all eyes on us, all eyes on us, all eyes on us. Over the past couple of years, you may have noticed a lot of people walking around with headphones that have a little letter B on them, and you wouldn't have been the only one to notice. Uh, one person who's definitely noticed is Dr. Dre, who is this year's top earning musician in the world because of those very headphones. The hip hop super producer founded Beats by Dr. Dre along with Interscope Chief Jimmy Iovine uh, a couple years ago and since then it's taken off. It's one of the most lucrative ventures that we've seen any artist in recent memory get involved with and uh, at the very beginning of our scoring period Dr. Dre sold part of his company to handset maker HTC for 300 million dollars and given that at the time he owned about a third of the company he pocketed hundred million dollars. So that's why he's number one on this year's top earning musicians list. After Dr. Dre, the top five is made up exclusively of arena rock acts from the UK and Ireland. At number two is Roger Waters, the Pink Floyd veteran, raked in $88 million thanks to his The Wall Live tour. He's followed closely by Elton John. We did over 100 live shows in our scoring period. Uh, U2 finishes fourth with $78 million. That comes from the tail end of their 360 tour, which grossed over $700 million in three years. It's the highest grossing concert tour of all time. And rounding out the top five, we've got Take That, the British boy band uh, that just came back with the big reunion tour, um, including eight sold out shows at Wembley Stadium that grossed $61 million which was uh, the highest grossing single stadium stand up to that point. Other interesting names on the list are John Bon Jovi, who's at number six with $60 million. He and his band have been um, continuing to tour uh, just as popular over in Europe as they are here. And Bon Jovi even had uh, enough time to stop by the Forbes headquarters and do a little duet with Warren Buffett on the ukulele. Further down the list, we got uh, Taylor Swift and Paul McCartney, both at $57 million. Um, both boosted by new albums and um, a lot of touring. Some other interesting names on the list, Jay-Z and Beyonce, the only couple. Uh, Beyonce made 40 million, Jay-Z made 38. There's only been one year in their marriage where he actually out-earned Beyonce. The youngest person on the top earning musicians list was Justin Bieber, he raked in $55 million, uh, which tied him for 10th with Toby Keith. Freddie Mac kissed my ass. Red Solo Cup. Um, and Justin Bieber appeared on the cover of Forbes just a few months ago, uh, part of a story for his growing career as a venture capitalist. If there's any one main theme to be taken away from the top earning musicians list this year, um, you know, it's, it's kind of just reinforcing the fact that, uh, you know, having a hit record is not what's going to drive you to the top. It's hitting the road, um, it's doing side business ventures. You know, you don't need to have a hit album to make it to the top of the list, and you don't need to look any further than Dr. Dre, who hasn't released an album in about a decade. Um, and his next album is still on hold. Nowadays, everybody want to talk like they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move.